better tackling than some of those in the NFL opener tonight. Ah, that's the direction yeah, you were going that's, with. That's where I was going. Okay, no, long ways with that, yeah. That's just fine. All right, let's go ahead and show you this. Pretty cool shot sent in by Danny Stafford, and this is what it takes to hold up a rainbow. It's kind of impressive. You get a lot of these on the internet now, and uh, very nice, Danny, and we appreciate that. And overall, got some interesting weather stuff to talk about for tonight. A variety of things going to happen for us here that we're going to watch out for that are, well, they're weather nerdly. There's no doubt about that, but some of them are pretty cool. 75 degrees here in the metro. Southwest winds at 9 miles an hour for us. Here's a look at the current temps out there. It is starting to get cold. A place like Alamosa, just 45, 48 Cortez, 63 Farmington, 57 in Taos. We are going to see these temperatures hold a little higher than you might expect for tonight in and around the state because we have some gusty winds out there continuing, especially over the higher elevations. Now, our winds right now going west to east for the most part across the state. Why is that important for us? Well, what we tend to see in situations like this, at least occasionally here in northern New Mexico especially, is what is called a mountain wave. What is that? Well, for us, when we get west to east winds, we can end up pushing that air over the mountains, and it can create little eddies and real turbulent air along the east slopes of the mountains and it can really speed up too to make for dangerous winds here along these communities along the east slopes. Now, I don't think tonight we're looking at dangerous winds along the surface but it can also cause problems for us for essentially flying through these areas, not only in choppers but in planes as well. You can get some real high air turbulence with this stuff. So, interesting stuff. Tonight's not going to be a huge issue with this as far as danger goes but we do see it over the northern mountains and they see it a lot throughout parts of Colorado as well. So, just something we keep an eye on and tonight maybe a little bit of an issue out there for us, but throughout the next couple of months, it's one of those things we'll watch out for, but overall, pretty quiet weather, dry and breezy conditions for us for tomorrow across the area. Then as we get into Saturday, west winds once again will equal more nice weather out there, and the winds will be fairly light, just dry air mass over us. As we get toward late Sunday and Monday, though, we'll put a little more moisture in from the south here, and that'll give us a shot at getting some showers across southwestern portions of the state here Sunday night, but probably more appropriate appropriately on Monday. And what about La Nina? Well, the newest information is out on La Nina. It is not good. What we're looking at now is probably water temperatures one to two degrees below normal in the equatorial Pacific. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it's significant. And the result will be a moderate to strong La Nina on the way for us, peaking in midwinter. And you know what that means for us. It means not a whole lot of precip for pretty much all of the southwest. When you start seeing those storms bottom out around, say, northern Utah and northern Colorado, they don't get close enough to bring a lot of precip to us. They tend to bring a lot of wind which could mean big time fire danger, not a lot of rain and snow. Most of that stays to the north. So unfortunately, we'd love to have better news on that, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty strong La Nina. 76, Farmington 70 in Durango for tomorrow. Breezy with a nice afternoon. Lots of sunshine out there and plenty of sunshine all the way through the weekend with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. South and west for tomorrow looks pretty good. 89, Alamogordo, 90, Las Cruces, 88, and TRC with west winds 10 to 15 miles an hour south and east temperatures here for the most part in the low 90s. West winds a little breezy at times, gusts up to around 20, 25 miles an hour, but still not bad in temperatures in the mid-90s for us throughout the weekend. North and east, you guys will be the bullseye point for more gusty winds tomorrow. Gusts up to about 40 miles an hour in places like Las Vegas and the northern mountains. Temperatures 70s and 80s with mostly sunny skies out there for tomorrow. And your Santa Fe forecast looking Fairly quiet with temperatures into the 80s throughout the weekend and over to the East Mountains. Temps here topping out in the 70s and 80s as well. West winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. And here in the metro, our temperatures will top out in the low 80s. That will be a little breezy tomorrow afternoon, but still pretty nice. And then the seven-day forecast shows the weekend looks very good. Chance of showers for us comes back up by Tuesday. You're taking that La Nina stuff up to Zobra tonight. Burn that baby right up. All right. Thanks, Mark. We'll be right back with sports.